This past year, New York boldly changed the way it will manage its inland trout streams. The new Trout Stream Management Plan will serve as a platform to learn and adapt for improved management down the road, all the while keeping the desires of anglers top of mind. The new plan draws a clear line between wild and stock trout management and uses a category approach. The five categories of management are wild, wild quality, wild premier, stocked, and stocked extended. Through this plan, anglers can expect the following easier to understand regulations, a bigger focus on creating quality habitat for trout, year-round fishing opportunities through the creation of a statewide catch and release season, select stream reaches to be stocked multiple times a season, larger stocked fish as a whole with some that are over 12 inches in each stocking, hatchery brown trout that are stronger and healthier, and an interactive map that provides anglers with point and click angling opportunities and information. I met up with two of our fisheries biologists so they could tell us more about the Trout Stream Management Plan and what anglers can expect. First up, the banks of the Esopus Creek in Ulster County where biologist Bobby Adams will explain the three wild categories of management. Hi Bobby, thanks for meeting me here. What can you tell me about the wild designations for the Trout Stream Management Plan? Hi Joelle, thanks for meeting me down here at Esopus Creek. Since we're here, let's start with the wild quality designation. Wild quality reaches are found in our medium to large size streams and have high in-stream trout productivity. We believe at these sites we have enough data to show that anglers are going to have really high catch rates despite moderate to heavy fishing pressure. One step up from wild quality reaches are wild premier reaches. These reaches are found on the larger streams throughout our state and have an excellent combination of extensive access, excellent habitat, high trout productivity, and big wild trout. Anglers fishing these spots can expect some competition with other anglers, but they can also expect high catch rates and the chance to catch big trophy-sized fish. Wild reaches are the most common, but they provide anglers with the biggest variety of habitats to fish. These reaches can be found in small headwater brook trout streams, larger creeks that may not have as much public access, or places where the trout populations are a little bit smaller due to limitations in habitat or water quality. These wild reaches provide anglers the opportunity to get out in the wilderness, get off the beaten path, and try to catch a wild trout in what's likely to be a beautiful setting. So what are the regulations for these three categories? For most inland trout streams in the state, the harvest season runs from April 1st to October 15th. During that time, if you're fishing a wild reach, you can keep five fish per day with no more than two over 12 inches. If you're fishing a wild quality reach, you can keep three fish per day with only one over 12 inches. But if you're fishing a wild premier stream, you can keep one fish any size. Anything else before we go? I just wanted to point out that this plan really takes into account the changing attitudes that we're seeing, especially related to the high value placed on catching wild fish. The overarching goal of this plan is really to manage for self-sustaining wild trout populations. Then I traveled north to the Cateros Creek to interview our Region 5 fisheries manager, Rob Fiorentino, about the stocked and stocked extended categories. Hey Rob, thanks for meeting me. So New York has this new inland trout stream management plan. Um, what can you tell me about the two stocked categories of the plan? Sure, Joelle. We're here today in the Cateros Creek in Saratoga County, and this will be categorized as a stocked extended reach. And these will include four stockings over an eight week period, which are, will have nine inch fish and a 12 inch two year old fish. And these are stocked over that period because they're a little bit larger with colder water longer into the early summer. The other category is a stock stream. And these will get stocked one time of the nine inch fish and the 12 inch fish or two year old fish. Those are generally streams that don't quite have the colder temperatures, but are still quality fishing streams. The other aspect of this plan is that the stocked extended streams will have a possession limit of three fish with one over 12 inches during the open season, which is April 1st to October 15th whereas the stock streams have a possession limit of five fish with two over 12 inches. One of the things I'd like to point out is the hard work and dedication that our hatchery staff has done over the last year to achieve this goal. We'll have about a 90% rate of success in stocking fish at the nine inches and 12 inch size in all of our streams across the state this year. So there you have it, a new plan that sets the stage for the future of fisheries management in New York State. For more information on the new Trout Stream Management Plan, visit DEC's website.